To assist you in properly installing your Marathon seat covers, please watch this video and follow these steps. Remove your information packet and seat covers from the box. Open only one row of covers at a time, starting with the front seat. Printed install instructions are packed with each individual row. Open the package and stack the pieces according to driver, passenger, or center position. Individual pieces are labeled. Select the passenger side stack and bring all the pieces to the vehicle to start the install. Front passenger side headrest. First, pull the headrest cover from the stack and put the top and bottom covers on the dash. Separate the Velcro on the headrest cover and pull over the headrest with the long straps to the front. Pull the cover all the way down, lining up the seams of the cover with the factory seams on the headrest. Remove the headrest from the backrest by pushing the button on one or both of the plastic bezels at the base of the headrest posts and lifting up. You may need to recline the seat to completely remove the headrest. Massage the cover top to bottom and route the straps under the headrest and connect to the Velcro inside the back of the cover. Front passenger side seat bottom. Set the headrest to the side and grab your passenger side seat bottom cover. Before installing the seat bottom cover, you'll need to release the factory flap on the back of your seat. Unhook the two plastic clips under the seat and fold the factory flap up to expose the back of the seat bottom. Separate the Velcro on the seat bottom cover and pull into position with the long straps to the front. Turn the inside corner up or inside out and start to tuck the tail of the cover between the top and bottom cushions. Pull the cover over the outside corner while holding the tail of the cover back. Smooth the cover into place lining up the seams of the cover with the factory seat seams. Route the front outside Velcro strap under the seat and connect to the Velcro on the tail of the cover. Move the seat forward and up if you have electric seats so you can reach the strap behind the seat while holding the cover in place with your other hand. Massage the cover into place, getting any slack pushed to the back or sides. Fold the seams under so they'll lay flat. Fold the inside corner of the cover down over the seat. Push the cover over the inside of the seat and massage front to back. Now, route the inside front strap under the seat. Massage the cover front to back and hold the cover in place while reaching behind the seat and connect the inside strap to the Velcro on the back of the seat cover. Massage the cover into position and readjust the front straps to get the cover tight. Tuck the cover behind the seat belt receiver and find the back inside strap. Fold the side strap back on itself and route under the seat. Make sure to get the strap above the mechanical seat slide so it won't hang up when the seat moves. Reach behind the seat and find the strap. Pull tight and connect to the Velcro on the tail of the seat. Continue to massage the cover and tuck the cover behind the plastic cowl on the outside of the seat. Fold the outside strap back on itself over the end of the provided feeler gauge. Push the strap with the feeler gauge between the seat and the plastic cowl at the back corner of the seat. The strap should pop out toward the bottom of the plastic cowl. Pull the strap tight while massaging the cover to the back. Connect to the Velcro on the tail of the seat cover. Now, do a final seam check and push all slack to the back of the seat. Readjust the straps as needed and make sure they are all secured completely. Trim the excess length on the straps. Front passenger side backrest. Pull the Velcro apart on the backrest cover. Pull the cover over the top of the backrest with the 2-inch hook straps to the front. As the cover goes on, make sure to tuck the factory flap on the back of the seat under the cover. Twist the cover side to side as you pull it down. Massage the cover top to bottom, getting all the slack pushed out while making sure to line up all the seams. Tuck the cover under the headrest bezels. Start on one side and push around until it pops underneath. 
massage the slack down and over the shoulders of the seat. Swipe the cover top to bottom and tuck the front straps through the cushions. Behind the seat, fold the cover up and find the straps to pull through. Pull each strap tight and connect to the Velcro inside the back of the cover. Pull down on the back of the cover as you connect each strap. Your cover may have an extending flap at the bottom of the backrest. Fold down into position and connect the straps to the wide straps on the seat bottom cover. Reinstall your headrest. Again, you may have to tilt the seat backwards to clear the ceiling. Front, center seat bottom. Separate the Velcro on the center seat bottom. Pull the cover into position, lining up the seams down the side of the cushion. Flip the seat up and find the front side straps. Connect them left to right, not too tightly. Fold the seat back down and flip the seams in and smooth the cover into place. Push all the slack to the back and fold the seat up. Connect the rear straps to the factory fuzz on the underside of the seat cushion. Now, connect the rest of the straps, making sure the cover stays in place. Front Center Backrest Fold the center backrest up and pull the cover into position lining up the cover seams with the factory seat seams. Fold the backrest down and pull the cover up. Open the lid and pull the straps in. The cover will squirm around until the straps are connected. Clean the area around each strap where they will connect inside the console. Use alcohol wipes to clean each small area to remove any dirt or grime. This is important. The sticky back Velcro you will need is attached to each strap. Peel the paper backing off and stick to the inside of the console. Push on the Velcro to make sure it sticks well. Some consoles will require multiple cleanings before the Velcro will stick. Now, pull the strap tight and connect to the Velcro stuck inside the console. Connect each strap, paying attention not to pull the cover out of position as you tighten up each strap. Fold the console up and flip all the seams in. Massage the cover top to bottom, getting any slack pushed to the bottom. Fold the console down and find the small Velcros inside the front of the cover. Clean these areas the same way as the inside of the console and connect the sticky back Velcro. Make sure the cover is in position and connect the cover to the console. Open the lid and readjust the straps to get any slack out of the cover. Front Center Console Lid Separate all the Velcro on the lid cover and pull into position with the handle cut out to the front. Open the lid and find the front side strap. Connect to the opposite side strap, not pulling too hard. Now, connect the other side straps across the lid while holding the lid in place. Fold the front straps under the lid and connect to the side-to-side -side straps. Readjust the side straps as needed, being careful to keep the front corners in place. Now, tighten the other side strap so the cover is tight. Close the lid and massage the cover front to back. Behind the console, find the console tail and connect to the Velcro on the back of the lid. The cover should just touch, not overlap. Close the lid to tighten up the cover. Rear Seat Headrests Release the Velcro on the headrest cover and pull onto the headrest with the straps to the front. Raise the seat bottom so the seat back will lean forward, allowing the headrest to clear the ceiling. Remove the headrest by pushing the button on the plastic bezel and lifting up. Massage the cover into place and route the straps under the headrest to connect to the Velcro inside the back of the cover. Rear Seat Passenger Backrest
Release all the Velcro on the passenger backrest and open up for the install. Pull the center seat belt away from the backrest and position the cover underneath it lined up with the armrest cavity. Tuck the cover under the headrest bezels. This will help hold the cover in position as you keep working. Now, smooth the cover into place and tuck behind the top of the seat. Open the armrest area of the cover. Reach through and lower the armrest and tuck the cover back into the armrest cavity. Pull the cover over the top of the seat and tuck down the side between the seats. Push the seat cover into the cavity. Raise the arm and make sure the seams line up with the edge of the opening. Continue tucking the cover down the side between the seats. Now, take the flap under the armrest with the Velcro and stuff it under the armrest. Raising and lowering the armrest while tucking will help the Velcro through. Fold the armrest down and find the Velcro straps. Pull them just tight enough so they stick up behind the armrest. Now, push the back portion of the cover with Velcro inside down over the top of the extending Velcro. Fold the armrest up into the cavity and check that the cover lines up with the armrest all the way around. Now, tuck the cover under the backrest all the way across the bottom. Raise the seat bottom to gain more access between the seats. Make sure to tuck under any seat belt receivers or child restraints. Tuck the inside corner strap between the top and bottom seats and raise the seat bottom. Find the strap and pull any slack through. The strap will now route up behind the seat and around to the side. Push it up as far as you can. Stuff your other hand in between the seats to catch the strap and pull up. Lower the seat and hold on to the strap between the seats. Pull the strap tight and push the side of the cover with the receiving Velcro over the top of it. Now, smooth the cover into position, moving any slack to the bottom. Continue tucking the cover under the backrest, working from the inside to the outside. Locate the outside corner strap and route under the seat. This strap will route the same as the inside strap, but with a little more room to work. Raise the seat, tuck under and pass to your other hand on the side of the backrest. Connect to the Velcro inside the side of the seat cover. Make sure to pull all the slack out of the cover and line up the outside seam. Once the strap is connected, massage the cover and tuck under the outside plastic cowl. Reinstall the center and outer headrests. Remember to raise the seat bottom so the outer headrest will clear the ceiling while reinstalling. Rear seat, armrest. Release the Velcro on the bottom of the armrest cover to prepare for the install. Lower the armrest partially and pull the cover over the top with a cup holder cutout on top of the armrest. Locate the factory pull tab and feed through the provided slot. Massage the cover top to bottom, lining up the side seams of the cover with the factory seams. Push all the slack to the back of the armrest. Now, raise the armrest and smooth the front of the cover, tucking it down the sides. Tuck the bottom of the cover with the straps under the armrest. Open and close the armrest as you tuck to aid in feeding them up behind the armrest. Hold the straps in place with the front hand and find them with your top hand. Pull the straps tight so they stick up behind the armrest. This may take some pushing and pulling to get them all to stick through. Start on one side and connect each strap to the Velcro inside the back of the armrest cover. Pull the top of the cover tight as you connect each strap. Smooth the armrest front to back and tuck the cover under the cup holder. Start at one corner and continue around until it's all tucked completely. Make sure any slack is pushed into place, down the side seams and under the cup holder. Fold the armrest up and smooth the front of the cover. Tuck the sides and bottom corners into the cavity. Fold the armrest down and readjust the straps to pull any slack out of the front of the cover. 
Fold the armrest up and push into the cavity. The added thickness of the seat cover may make the armrest a little tight in the opening. Rear seat, passenger seat bottom. Pull out your passenger seat bottom and release the Velcro along the bottom of the cover. Pull the cover into position with the extending straps on the top of the seat. Raise the seat partially and pull down a little on each side at a time. Make sure the seams of the cover are matching up with the seams of the factory seat. Fold the seams in so the cover will lay flat. Continue smoothing the cover across the front of the seat and down the outside of the seat. Start tucking under the backrest, making sure to go under the seat belt receivers and child restraints. Raise the seat bottom slightly to help tuck the cover and the straps all the way across the seat. Flip the seat up and find the straps under the seat bottom. Pull each one of them tight and start to connect to the Velcro inside the bottom of the cover. Fold the seat down and check the top of the seat for any slack in the cover. Inspect the seams and fold in to get the seam to lay flat. The 40% driver's side installs with the same process as the passenger side minus the armrest areas. Thank you for purchasing Marathon Seat Covers, a product that is made in America and proudly serving our customers across North America. If you have any questions, please contact our customer service team at the phone number listed on the screen.